Hey beauties, how are you? My name is Yanino Yarzo, and today we're gonna to be talking about Physicians Formula's new organic wear line. What I really love about these products is their finish, their scents, and they're actually all clean beauty. So I'm gonna be showing you a clean, cute look that you can wear whether on a date or just doing some errands. I have a few favorites on this, but what I love about these products is that they're so fresh and clean on the skin. Now, if you want any of these products, they're actually available on physiciansformula.com as well as walmart.com and in Walmart stores. Let's get started. So the first step that we're gonna do is cleanse our face. I'm gonna grab the double cleansing oil. What I really love about this product is that it's made with organic rose hip oil and organic aloe vera. It's super simple. You grab the bottle, you pump a few pumps on your hand, and then you rub it together, and then you rub it on your face in circular motion all over, and then you wash it with lukewarm water and then pat dry with a towel. So next we're gonna go into the Nutrient Mist Facial Spray. And what I really love about this spray is that it has a floral blend of Ilong Ilong, Rosehip Oil, Cactus Flower, Geranium Flower, and so many other ingredients that are so good for the skin and actually helps later on when you're putting moisturizers and serums on your face. So all you have to do is a quick spray. You instantly smell how fresh it is and your skin just brightens up instantly. So I really love this spray. You can even wear it just by itself on a regular day, put it in the car and spray it on and it just refreshes you instantly. The next product that we're gonna be using is the Lifting and Glowing Mask. Now what I really enjoy when using this product is that it has Meadow Sweet Extract, which removes any buildup that we have in our skin from impurities, the environment, or even makeup over time. It also has Mangongo Oil and Aloe Vera Extract which that helps brighten the skin, which causes a natural glow. Now it's super simple to use this mask. All you have to do looks like this. You put a thick layer over your face. You let it dry for around 20 minutes. You can do an errand, you can clean your house, fold clothes, whatever you choose to do. And then afterwards you just rinse your face with lukewarm water and pat dry and that's it. You have an instant glow. Up next is the Bright Booster Oil Elixir. Now this has really cool ingredients in it like rhodiola extract, mangongo oil, it also has jojoba oil, and argan oil, which helps boost up your radiance that you just finished doing with the glow mask. Now all you do with this is you open it up, you can either mix it with your moisturizer or just wear it alone. You put it in your fingers, then you rub it into your skin. Now what I really love about this is that when you're using oils, a lot of the times your face feels greasy afterwards, but this oil really absorbs into your skin and doesn't give that greasy effect afterwards, but just a luminous look. Now to the fun stuff. Now that we prepped our skin, it's ready to start the makeup. We're gonna start with the mineral primer that has cactus flower in it. Now the cactus flower actually hydrates and balances our skin. What you wanna do is put a little bit on your fingertips, like this, rub it around, and then rub it in your face. Just like that. It's a weightless primer that helps set all the makeup that you're about to put on just flawlessly. Next up is the Silk Foundation Elixir. Now I'm actually using 07 in tan, but there's 12 shades that's a buildable foundation, so a little goes a long way with this. You can either use a sponge or fingers, but today we're gonna be using fingers. It's a dropper, which is really cool because you can take out just as much as you want. It has jojoba oil, it has coconut oil, which all these different products, what they do is they give you like a natural moisturized look. You wanna put it on your fingertips like this, rub it around, put it in your face, just spread it around everywhere. If you want more coverage, you just add a few more drops to your fingertips after you've done your first layer. Cause the last thing you want is to look cakey. This foundation, because it is so moisturized and naturally gives you a dewy look, which everybody wants that JLo glow. Now, now that I've done the bottom half of my face, but I feel like I can use a little bit more product on the top, I'm gonna go back to the dropper, put a little bit more here. And from right here, I can tell you, my fingertips look so moisturized because of the coconut oil and all the oils in this. And then finish the top half of my face, in between my nose, and make sure that everything that I'm doing, I'm blending correctly. I also like kind of bringing it down to my neck so that it doesn't look like you have a mask or anything cakey. Blends into your natural tan. So now that we've finished the foundation process and we have a flawless dewy finish going on, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is actually one of my favorites, is contouring. I'm gonna be using the Sculpting Bronzer in the color Mocha. 
This bronzer actually comes in two different shades, toffee and mocha. I personally like the darker color because I have a tan going on right now, so I feel like the darker color goes better for darker skin tones. We're gonna go and into the cheekbones to make our cheekbones really pop. The top of our head, the sides of our nose to give us a defined look, and the bottom of our jawline to really help define that area. Then with our fingertips, we're gonna go in and blend it out. Now this has um, jojoba oil, which makes it really moisturizing on the skin and really easy to blend out. When you're contouring, you wanna make sure to blend because you don't wanna have harsh lines. Everything is supposed to be seamless. And the point of contouring is actually so that any of the hollow spots on your face can have a more defined look and you can look chiseled. Okay, so now that we've contoured our face and have blended everything out, the next step is blush. Now, I'm gonna be using this one, which is actually called Gorgeous Peach, but there's four different shades in total for this blush collection. It's Apricot Glow, Pink Berries, and Crushed Berries. All you have to do is grab the bottle, shake it, make sure you shake it well, and then you put a little pump on your finger, and then you put it in the apple of your cheeks, and then the other side. Now this also has jojoba oil, which is very moisturizing and hydrated on the skin. And the color pigments of this is just makes it look like you have a natural shine and a natural glow to your face. And you blend it. Now the next step is highlighter. Now this highlighter is called the Dewy Highlighter and it comes in two different shades, Dew Frost and Honeydew. Today for this look, I'm gonna be using Dew Frost. All you wanna do, is go ahead and put it on your brow bone, the bridge of your nose, anywhere where you really want highlighter, to be honest. And then you blend it out. And what I really, really enjoy about this that a lot of other highlighters are is not only is it really blendable, but it's cream to powder form. So this stick makes it where you can add as much as you want as long as you blend it out really well. It has also jojoba oil, which makes it really nourishing and moisturizing. And the color comes from Indian Senna, which actually is also a colorant that makes the contour stick. Now the next product that we're gonna be using is for the eyebrows, and this is the Brow Shaping Gel. It's super simple and it's super fast, but I'm using Soft Taupe, and it actually comes in four different colors. There's a clear, a soft taupe, a soft brown, and a soft black. All you do is you shake it before you open it, then you twist it open, and you're gonna be sweeping the brush through your eyebrows to set them in place and give it a soft color. This also has jojoba oil, which is moisturizing to the eyebrows. It also has organic coconut oil to condition, groom, and define your eyebrows, which we all want really good eyebrows. A little goes a long way with this, so you don't need too much product. Then, after that, we're gonna go into the liquid liner. Now there's two shades in this, brown and black. I'm using the brown one. I'm gonna do a soft wing liner, nothing too over the top, but just for an everyday natural look. I really like also using brown for everyday looks because I feel like it's a lot softer and black for a nighttime look. 
When it comes to liquid liner, it's also really good using it if you know how to do it correctly and playing with it because it really helps to find your eye shape and amplifies any simple look to the next level. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna go into the next product. There's three different mascaras for whatever occasion that you need it for. The first one is the Lash Boosty Mascara that has soybean in it and it lengthens, lifts, and nourishes your lashes. It's a high performance mascara. Then you also have the Natural Origin Mascara, which has olive extract. It's your everyday mascara that you can wear for errands or anything like that. And the last one is actually my favorite mascara. It's the Fake Out Mascara with silk cotton fibers in it which just intensifies that look, whether you wanna intensify your eyes for a natural look like I'll be doing today, or if you already have a dramatic look and you wanna take it to the next level, this is a mascara to do that with. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. All you do is coat your top and bottom lashes with it. Like this. You wanna make sure to get every little lash, and what I really love is that this stick right here is so thick and you can see all the little fibers going into your lashes, which instantly gives your look, even though this is a natural look, an entirely new level of glam and flawlessness. <laughs> I naturally have long lashes, but they're straight. So this really makes them visible and helps finish my eye look. Another little fun tip is that if you do get mascara on your eyelids or anywhere below, make sure to let it dry. And then just grab a little Q-tip or even your fingertip and you go like this and it comes right off. Next, we're gonna prep our lips with the lip polish. Now this is made from raw sugar, shea butter, and coconut oil. So it's gonna leave our lips super exfoliated and soft. Off the bat, I can tell you, this smells so good. It has rose hip seed oil. All you're gonna do is put it on your finger, put it right on your lip. It honestly even tastes good. And then with your finger, you're gonna go in circular motions to exfoliate. I like to do this for like a good 30 seconds to a minute. And then once I feel like I've hit all the areas on my lips, I just grab a tissue and I rub it off. And actually when I'm rubbing it off, I'm pressing down so that it can exfoliate anything left over. And as I said, the products are organic, so the shea butter, the raw honey, and the coconut oil, when taking it off, doesn't taste bad. Now that we've exfoliated our lips with the lip polish, we wanna go ahead and use the lip treatment. Now there's five different shades in the lip treatment. Here they are right here. The first one is Ginger Snap. They all have a sheer element to them. The next one is Tickle Pink. Then we have a Love Bite. Next we have Bury Me. Last but not least, we have Tawny Nude. This is actually my favorite color. These tinted lip treatments actually have butter and oil mix to be able to nourish our lips and cause a very moisturizing treatment when putting them on. 
Tawny Nude is actually my favorite, but today I'm gonna be using the clear one as a balm on my lips. Now that we finished with the lip treatment, we're moving on to the nourishing lipsticks. Now with them, they are super silky and smooth. They're also mixed with butter and oil, which makes it where it's a nice moisturizing lipstick on the lips. There's different shades of them. The first one is Raspberry Crush. It's a very pink kind of, so pretty and pigmented. The next one is Desert Rose. Then we move into Sugar Plum, which is a great fall color. Spice. Ooh, this is a really fun fall color. Then we have Goji Berry. That great red lip or for the holiday season. And then the last one is Buttercup. And of course, if you know me, I love a nude. So this is for sure my favorite again. These are the shades. Now again, they're mixed with oil and butter. So it's super nourishing on the lips, hydrating, and it gives a beautiful color on your lips. I'm gonna actually put on goji berry. Or, hmm, actually, I'll do butt cut. It's so smooth when you're putting it on. And it just has a really nice finish. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy it, beauties. I had so much fun creating this look. This is a great look for a day date or just for running errands. However you like it, it's up to you. I really, really enjoy this line. I love how organic it is. I love how good for the skin it is. It makes you feel good. It makes you look good. And you know that you're not putting any nasty stuff on your skin. This collection is available on physiciansformula.com as well as Walmart and walmart.com. So make sure you check it out, play with it, have fun with it. There is no wrong and right. And just know that everything that you're putting on your skin is just gonna make you that more beautiful. Goodbye, beauties.